What is up everyone? Get ready basically for spring break in Florida because things are about to get wet and wild for this weekly challenge where I will be racing as Lando Norris at Imola in the rain in the McLaren of course in the McLaren because that is who Lando Norris races for but here we are starting already on lap one I'm getting used to racing on the wet tires I've actually never raced in the wet in the game this is my first time this is definitely a learning experience and already I'm slipping and sliding all over the track girl watch out because Leclerc is my first prime target and you can already see I have attempted to make some moves I wouldn't really say those were moves though I would say um, I didn't know my breaking points and I'd slip past slip past him and luckily did not rear end him okay that would not look good on the insurance claim we really don't want to call the local authorities I don't live here he doesn't live here it would be nasty we're on visas anyways first lap going pretty well I've actually managed to stay behind him not causing any damage which has made me pretty happy because I cannot tell you how many times I had to restart this session just to get a good start and already I'm I'm flying in I'm getting comfortable the the tires are doing well for me and I fly past Leclerc in the first turn absolutely amazing my goodness all right getting some news on Fernando Alonso in lap two that he's dealing with some technical issues and I bet he is not happy about that he's trying to show Alpine you know even though I'm leaving and I, I ditched you guys last second didn't even give you my two weeks but can you not put me in this horrible box of a car are they trying to do are they trying to sabotage him and here's the other thing guys it is lap two of the race and they're already getting on me about using the ERS so I'll be compliant I'll use it through this very difficult turn where you definitely have to watch your break points definitely have to watch your reaction on how quick you're gonna be taking in those turns but sure I'll add some turbo to the car why not but here I am fighting behind Carlos Sainz who has been putting his elbows out I don't know if this is strategy coming from Ferrari and they're just saying hey he passed Leclerc we're not happy about this he's our star player not you so we need you to fight uh, Norris so Leclerc can make a move but that's the problem that's the thing Leclerc is not going to be able to make a move but here we are checking in with Fernando Alonso who is now on lap three kind of up there and we can see he's slowing down but he decides to just park it right over here on the side all right at least he's parking it safely you know we'll talk to the engineers and see what the technical issue is but kind of looking back here he's coming in slowing down takes the curb maybe that was kind of the straw on the camel's back which he was like yeah definitely gonna park it off you can see Norris definitely passed by with some time it looks like Alonso will just have to drop out of the race. My goodness, this is definitely not a good start for Alpine today here at Imola. They definitely had some a good weekend, but it just didn't happen for them. But here we are back on board with Lando Norris trying to make a move on signs where he attempted earlier on lap one to make a move on Leclerc. It just doesn't stick. It's not sticking. I mean, obviously, the track is soaking in wet. So trying to get those moves to stick and find the grip and traction is something very difficult you will find here if you are a first timer racing in the wet conditions because you have the water splashing up in you. Your braking points are a lot further back. The gears you are using and trying to utilize are going to be different because you have to find out where the comfy, that comfortable spot is for for traction, getting the grip, and making sure you don't have too much wheel spin. But already, here we are, Norris making a move in the wets, passing signs almost. They're putting up a fight here on the first turn side by side. But signs, he kind of gave up there in the end. I think they made a little bit of contact, but not enough to call him into the pits. And there's Norris just making a clean gap signs backing just dropping and losing speed backing up to being back right in front of Leclerc 
I don't know if they're going to be happy about that. They're in Ferrari in the pits about, okay, well, now what's the strategy? We got our own guys fighting each other? Because obviously, we can even fight the grid. Man, but look at Norris definitely making some time, catching up to Ricardo, getting in the slipstream, finding the dry line because as you see, it looks like the weather is clearing up. It's not raining as heavy and this is something you definitely got to watch out for when going on a wet track is if the weather conditions are set to, di to dynamic within the game, you will have to figure out, okay, well, Am I going to try and undercut the entire grid as you see here? I'm going to try and be the first peer person to pit. I don't think I am because I am in fourth place so there are three other cars ahead of me to make that decision and kind of get some speed ahead of me. But I pit before Ricardo and so far it looks like strategy is liking Norris so I go in, pit, have pit assist in because I went flying in and thank goodness it drops the speed, don't get a penalty, press the button on time, optimal speeds, and here we are, flying out as you see, got some cars behind me coming in the pit as well to make that undercut, to switch onto the slicks, I'm coming out on mediums, definitely a good decision, we'll take some time to get some heat into them find the traction, find the grip, because it is still a little wet out there, for, so finding that racing line is going to be a little difficult. But after I pit, we kind of jumped forward here in a little bit because the rest of that lap was just catching up to the grid, and I did. But so did George Russell, because here we are above him as he tries to make a move on me on lap 6, barely taking on my rear, t uh, rear tile. Uh, oh my gosh, can't find the words almost taking out my tires and he's catching up and he's watching me as I'm about to pass Carlos Sainz again for the second time taking on the outside here on the hairpin kind of bumping into his tires but I put up a fight so does Carlos Sainz they do not like that George Russell tie tries to take the opportunity and pinch himself through here on the turn Carlos does not allow it but George Russell he drops back because we are on lap 6, and you don't want to do damage to new tires. You don't want to stick behind a car too long. If you're going to make a move, try to make it stick, because if you do stick uh, behind too long, you're going to be in that dirty air. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard on your tires. So learn to fight and learn when not to fight. And as you see here, I'm catching up to Ricardo. And the moves I'm about to put on him, I would say um, he could definitely learn a lesson or two because he's definitely playing it safe, breaking way too early. He's not really finding the speed to get out of those turns, have a clean exit. So I say, forget it, dude. I kind of cut the curb, play it safe, don't even get a warning from the FIA. And we are flying past Ricardo. This is amazing. But Ricardo's just having a tough time. And let's see if that that cut through that curve was clean from his angle because it seemed really rough. But look at the space he's got open coming into that apex because he was struggling to find the grip coming into that turn. Could be that he's still struggling with the slicks. Let's see at this angle. That's clean. I think the only damage done was on my end with Norris hitting those sausage curbs. Kind of getting a little bit probably to the underbody and the new tires. Hey, maybe it'll heat them up and get some grip on them. But Ricardo just seems to struggle. I like, look at that, almost taking each other out. Man, Zach Brown's not going to be happy about that. And no wonder he's probably looking for some new replacements for Ricardo. But who knows? He seems to promise everyone a seat in F1. But look at this. Ricardo's dropping back after having that move done on him. Probably a little confidence. Hit to the confidence, you know? But. A Ferrari right behind him trying to make a move, not sure if this is Leclerc or Carlos Sainz, but he is fighting, making a move, almost. Ricardo blocks him out, kind of swerving there on the straight. We may have to take a look at that as the FIA, but Carlos Sainz or this Ferrari, whoever, man, they're getting it done. They got their hooves out, coming down. They got new horseshoes on, boy, and they're ready. They are ready to take to the freaking Kentucky Derby and show you how it's done. People are betting on him. He is a winning horse. Can he make the pass on lap eight and then keep it? 
keep that position and keep Ricardo behind him. This is a real battle. As you see Norris taking the opportunity and just flying ahead. This must be what McLaren wanted, you know. Hey, Ricardo, get those elbows out. Help your teammate. But it just didn't stick because the Ferrari gets through. And Russell now behind him seeing a golden opportunity to pass him as well. So we'll definitely have to, uh, have to keep a close eye on that and see what happens of Ricardo throughout the race. Because he's not doing too hot. He's not doing too well. But let's go back on board here now into lap 10. Fast forward it a little bit as Norris tries to meet some traction, some headway behind Perez, the Red Bull, as he is now in third position. So far, we have nailed the weekly challenge. The goal was get some new tires, fight through the rain, wait for uh, conditions to dry out, and then get a winning position, get a podium position. We have done that with ease, because look, as I'm getting behind Perez for the last couple laps, I think since lap nine, I have been trailing behind him. And sure, I could have pushed it, I could have worn my tires out, take those curbs a little harder, use the ERS, but the goal was to use my braking, to use the heat being generated from the tires to build the ERS for a couple laps and start gaining some time, start getting clean laps done, start really finding my pace, my braking points, what gears I need to be in, and this will help you catch up on your opponents this will get the speed and i think the undercut helped i was able to pit get clean tires and start generating heating them a lot sooner than the rest i was able then to get on that dry racing line sooner than the others and start paving a path for myself because so far as you see on the time on the left i am cutting time down closer and closer Drop there a little bit in the shin chicane. That is a tough spot if you do not nail that first curve because I was getting nervous and so I was braking a little bit harder, not wanting to nail the rear end because I don't know if he was brake checking me, putting his elbows out or what, because there are some points with the AI where you realize you can definitely kick their butts and get past them as I do on Perez, getting in the slipstream, popping out. Nice little wave goodbye, Perez. Verstappen is next on the list. You can see him just up ahead. And for these next few laps, as I just mentioned, it's focusing, getting your head down, staying on the racing line, doing clean laps. Do not make a mistake. Because after a pass like that with a team like Red Bull, any minor mistake, they will pounce on you. I check my tires here. Temperatures are good. I was doing a little bit of Sunday driving because my engineers did tell me, hey, Check your tires, do not wear them out. Because if I did, I understand these are wet conditions drying up, but you can wear the tires, you can get the heat just plastered onto those brakes and you will notice you are slipping, you're locking up, you're passing the apex and it's not doing well for you. So managing these tires and realizing, okay, I may have my elbows out a tiny bit, but my opponent behind me is dropping. I'm gaining speed. Their tires wearing out. That's why it's good to have this track awareness of what's going on with everybody around you. Glancing occasionally at the board, seeing where people are placed, their times. Because this will tell you how to treat your drive. Am I going to be Sunday driving, which I was doing a little bit here? Kind of dropping speed, not going too fast. But as I mentioned earlier, Ricardo was struggling his Sunday driving trying to hold George Russell back just did not end up well for him Russell must have had the better strategy must have had just more confidence to just fly into these tight corners and really push the limits of the car on this drying track finding that grip as you see Ricardo is definitely slowing in here they're going down in the second gear but Russell just seems to find that little, that little spot in the track that helps him, Ricardo tries to push him out, leaves the door wide open as he did with me earlier in the race, and he seems to have been doing that because he's dropped a couple positions. But now on board with another Mercedes, because Mercedes, 
Russell's been just nailing it, but his teammate Lewis Hamilton has been struggling this season, just staying further back each time. I mean, look, he can't even get past Vettel. And this used to be a rivalry that was hotter than the freaking sun. Because as we all know, Hamilton came out to be the better world champion and have the better car as we see Vettel and the Aston Martin. But in this race, it seems Hamilton is just, uh, he's struggling. He's struggling. But here we are back with Norris as he is caught even closer to Verstappen. Here we are in lap 14 of 16. And as you can see, my racing has gotten a little bit dirtier. I'm trying to catch up to Verstappen, so I may be taking those curves a little bit tighter, a little bit harder. But I'm coming right behind him. I'm showing McLaren still has a fighting chance, just as we did in the earlier years. That kind of wins Alonzo, Hamilton. We're with us, but hey. We got a fighting chance. I'm getting right behind that Red Bull. Verstappen checking his mirrors. He doesn't know what's about to happen. He doesn't even understand how this is even possible. A midfield car. And a almost basically kind of rookie. Kind of coming in a little bit at the same time. But Norris is about to make a major pass here. Fighting through the chicanes, and I thought I could make a move happen there in a little bit of an unorthodox way, as I normally do make my move because I like to give you guys a show. But I thought I'd do it. I played in clean. Definitely don't want to use my instant uh, flashback. I want this to be a challenge that I take head on. And of course, just like his teammate, surprisingly, on the straightaway, Norris makes a pass. Amazing. Taking all the way to left here because for Stappen is definitely going to put a fight up. He's probably right behind me, right on my tail, but I'm going to hold it down for this next lap as I, I got to win. I'm going to get this challenge done. And here we are, lap 15, creating a gap between me and Verstappen, and I am going to finish this race nice and clean. So what is it like been racing in the rain? What are some tips and tricks of the trade that we've learned and kind of shown along the way? Obviously, braking points are different. Your tires, you're going to be on either intermediates or wet, so the traction is going to be way different than slicks. You're going to take your apexes a little softer. What I mean by that, you're not going to be snapping hard on the steering wheel. You're going to have nice, steady input with each turn. Watch the rear end of other cars because you're going to have that spray in your face. They're going to come up on you quick. They're going to come out of nowhere. So just have that awareness of the track. Noticing when other cars are probably pitting if the track is drying. So that way you can have the back in your mind. Okay, time for an undercut here. So I can get on the slicks faster. Get used to the drying line that is possibly showing up with the slicks. So I can have a better feel of this nice, clean, drying track before everyone else does. And here we are in the last lap, lap 16. Nobody's catching up. Nobody stands a chance. So I go back to Sunday driving, trying to take it nice and easy. I probably should be busting my butt off for fastest lap again. But you know what? Once you're in first, you have it. You nailed it down. I don't see any of those. Uh, maybe a little arrow from first stop and... But it's nothing major, nothing to worry about. So, take my elbow pads off, kind of tuck my elbows back in, relax a little bit, and start finishing up here at Imola. This is an amazing track, and I hope you can see how to both do it on wet and dry conditions. Wet has been super fun. It's definitely something to learn. Watch the RPMs. Watch how you're shifting into the higher gears, four, five, six, because in the wet conditions with that tire spin you will have oversteer tremendously and lose the rear end faster than your dad probably walked out of your life okay but we don't have to talk about that that's why you know we all go to someone pay them large amounts of money every week but anyways just kidding i don't do that i hold it all and bottle it in here we are finishing the race dry conditions but as I mentioned you will lose the rear end so watch the RPMs watch those revs go into the gears slower and you will just get a feel for it you'll feel how the car is handling the wet 
when you lose it, when the steering wheel snaps. Driver of the day, of course. What else would it be? But anyways, everybody, I hope we all learned something. I hope we enjoyed the presentation of just pure Formula One racing. Please remember to like and subscribe, comment, share. It definitely helps me out. I'm trying to build a community here of people who love motorsports. I will be diving into other racing pretty soon. But hey, I'll see you at the next race. And once again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm a high performance athlete. Athletes sweat. Sweat, baby. Sweat, sweat.